Okay, here we are, uh, Chinese bathroom. I had to take a video of this because it's just too funny. We've got one restroom here for the deformed man. Okay, handicapped, needs assistance otherwise. Deformed man, okay. And we got uh, women's here, and uh, that's pretty straightforward. We've got the regular man's restroom. Pretty straightforward. And then we've got something here called urinate the pond. Urinate the pond. I have no idea what that means, but we're gonna find out. Apparently this is urinate the so pond. So we got these incense burners um, on all of the restrooms to uh, eliminate the stink. Each uh, urinal has its own can for cigarette butts, usually a can of uh, gruel or soup. So you pretty much can smoke anywhere you want here, as in most of Asia. Have you ever had to go to the bathroom in a trough? This, my friends, is a Chinese bathroom. There's a urinal right there. And here is where you do number two. It's just a trough with uh, water flowing. You squat down, you do your business. Uh, there is no TP of any kind, so if you don't bring your own, you're tough out of luck, and um, then you go on your way, and the water just takes it from one end of the trough to the next, and out the uh, pipe is going out. Yeah, that's real nice. Goes to number two, right below your feet. And uh, let me tell you, the smell is horrific. Um, here's to hoping that uh, you don't fall in, because if you do, um, you're gonna get a surprise and there's uh, no sympathy for you. So, uh, best to go at home on a western toilet. Uh, if you travel around rural China for any period of time, you may run into one of these. And in fact, even before uh, 2008 Beijing Olympics, uh, a lot of Beijing had basically these uh, hole in the ground urinals and toilets were like this, uh, even in Beijing until the Olympics came and they really upgraded their public toilets. Uh, but still, it ruled China like it is here. Uh, it's just like this. So for a lot of Westerners, it's a little bit disconcerting to have to squat and hope and pray they don't fall in if they're going to be staying at a hotel in, in rural China. Sometimes the toilet is the shower. Okay, right there is the shower head. And it's just kind of jimmy rigged up there. And below it, toilet, and you just pull the lever and the water comes flowing out. There's no hot or cold for anything. It's just, uh, you know, comes out like gangbusters. And there's the toilet for the floor above. So if you run into one of these, you might get lucky and they might be able to give you one of these right here, which is a wooden sit down <laughs> uh, Western squatting fabrication here that uh, does make it a little more pleasant, but you know, it's still kind of archaic. And that's uh, one of the tough things getting used to in China, aside from the food, but uh, in rural places, sometimes there won't even be this. Sometimes there'll just be a trough and there'll be a hole basically in the ground and uh, you won't even have uh, access to water. And even in Hong Kong, the toilets are uh, a little less uh, desirable than 
you would expect. Uh, the public toilets are usually kind of like outdoorsish type because it's so hot here, a lot of ventilation. There's a uh, urinal there for the men's. It's just uh, stainless steel with uh, water coming down. And then here's the other stuff here. No sit down toilet. But at least they have this TP. That's a big plus, and you only find that in Macau and Hong Kong. Okay, Macau restrooms, what do they like? Well, they're a lot like mainland China, except for the wooden doors, which is kind of a nice touch, but uh, why am I showing you restrooms anyway in Asia? Well, uh, I guess it's part of the experience of living in Asia and give you a better feel of what it's like here, so I'm showing you these disgusting uh, restrooms or whatever. Uh, as you know more of uh, a complete feel of what it's like so any of you that are really disgusted by it I'm sorry but uh, that's part of the channel so yeah basically a squatter with a water tank and you've got uh, tiled walls wooden doors but there's one other thing about Macau bathrooms uh, that is curious take a look So, you have gambling and you have a lot of that stuff, drug use, and uh, that, a lot of that comes in through the Golden Triangle and up through Canton, and then uh, the Hong Kong Mafia, Macau Mafia distribute that. So you see a lot of syringes and stuff, and in this restroom there's uh, syringes for junkies to fix, and that's just part of the lifestyle in this part of Asia. Wash down after you. Wash down after what?